So what can you diagnose with a tactical 360? Everything I just told you about and more. Where's the fire and how bad is it? Does that matter to you as an incident commander and as a firefighter? It should, because our job is to save lives and property. So the sooner we get to the fire and put it out, the better. Possible victim location. First thing in the, in the acronym LIP is life. We are to save lives and property if possible. So if I know where the victim is from the exterior and in the interior, I'm going to get to the victim. If you teach our search class, the research shows 70% faster. I'll show you a vent inner search video here in a little bit from the time he gets in and the time he's out is one minute. And that's getting and searching outside the door. Why? Because he had a guide at the window going, go here, go there. He's actually saying, go to your three o'clock, go to your five o'clock. Cause we don't use go here, go there, go right, go left and zero visibility. Cause that doesn't work. We learned that the hard way. Our military brothers and sisters have got it figured out. We can learn a lot from people who are not in our profession, who are doing some things that we are doing similarly. And that's why we took thermography concepts, industrial concepts, things from the military, and we put them into experientially relevant examples like you're seeing here so you can use them. We can learn the building configuration and layout, A, by reading the building, the windows, the doors. You should be able to be taught to do that in your basic building construction class. But we teach a concept called taking a quick look before we start our 360. And we take that quick look inside that front door and we learn, A, is this a neat three bedroom clustered bedroom plan? Or is this a split bedroom plan with hoarding conditions? Or is this a mess of a, a house with uh, a motorcycle lab, a motorcycle shop in the front living room? I don't know. Helps me with that. Helps me understand that, right? Do they have nine couches in their living room? That makes a difference. Building construction issues. I'm looking at an older home that's drafty and falling apart or something that's been chopped up and made into something it shouldn't be. Exposure issues. I showed you examples of that. Signs of structural integrity loss. You probably were taught this in your fire classes. When you start seeing the roof will sag, the pipes will grow. Well, guess what? Wood starts to break down between 300 and 500 degrees. If you're outside of the house, with a thermal imaging camera at a good distance away, and you're in low sensitivity mode, seeing colorization, seeing temperatures between three and 500 degrees outside in a lightweight construction building, what do you think's happening to the inside? 